you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Perfect. We got it right the first time. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Hey, so my dogs are loose in the house. I usually put them up, but it's kind of late. But I just wanted to kind of say if they all start freaking out, they, they probably just heard a squirrel. So, okay. Okay. <laughs> Heads up. Okay, no worries. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jennifer, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you have a band. Now, tell me, am I pronouncing it right? I pronounce it Ignescent. Yeah, you're right. Perfect about that okay wonderful so um is it just you or do you have is it a band or or you you are the band or tell me about that yeah no i have a band um they're not able to make it tonight for the uh, interview but yeah i have a, a full band like drums okay. guitar bass and all i that, mean yeah. like it's and did you start out like you started as like i want to be the singer and then i'm going to need a drummer or a guitar player did you guys all kind of come together and start this together i guess that's what i'm trying to say oh okay yeah i started the band um okay. i decided that i wanted to do that and i just uh, sought people out okay all right perfect yeah so is that yeah. like have you always how long ago has that been did you did you decide this is what I'm going to do? Um, it's been a few years that we've Has been it? together. So, yeah. Well, have you always, well, I love you. I mean, like I am so, I love strong, capable women. And that's just kind of one of my favorite things. And I love rockers, like women rockers. Have you always kind of been drawn to that? Like been like a rocker? Um. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I love pop too. And I kind of, I like like mixing the melodies, like the pop melodies and the catchy uh, melodies with rock. But yeah, yeah, I love bands like Skillet and Flyleaf and uh, Thousand Foot Crutch. And so I've always been drawn to the energy that rock gives out and just love love performing it on stage too. Your a lot of your melodies in the way that you combine like like some rock and roll hitting with the energy and then the great melody yeah. line reminds me of this yeah. other group Evanescence a lot. Do, do oh, you know okay. them? Yeah, kind of. You kind of oh, remind me of them a little bit. So yeah, oh. and I that's what it kind of some of your stuff puts me in the mind of because it's got these beautiful the lyrics and the melodies are just beautiful. And then you combine that with like the hard hitting energy, you know, guitar licks. And I love that. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. I love Evanescence and Amy Lee. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. They're fantastic. Well, usually I'm so excited to have you on. Thank you so much for an hour of your time. And usually <laughs> I don't just jump right into like, Hey, let's talk about rock and roll. I try to make small talk, but that really, I do try to make a little chit chat, but that's how excited I guess that I was. And it hit me. I'm like, wow, I just jumped right into it, didn't I? So <laughs> let me back no, thanks up. Thanks for having me. Appreciate let it. me back up. How was your day? <laughs> <laughs> it was good. It was super busy. It was it's just been a crazy day, but um, but I'm yeah. It's, it's going good though. Um, like this weekend, we're shooting a music video. Actually, we're shooting two more music videos with JT Ibanez, and he's worked with like Seven Dust. And he just did our music video for Not Today that we released um, last month. So we're doing that this weekend. And then we play some shows in uh, Illinois and Wisconsin with September Morning. So um, we'll be doing That's that next week. At. That's kind of up oh, in my okay. neck yeah. of the woods. Yeah. We're actually um, in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin, and then Urbana, Illinois. But yeah, where are okay. you? You said Iowa? Uh, yeah, kind of in the northeastern corner. It's like um, maybe 40 miles south of Minnesota and 40 miles west of Wisconsin. So like right in the corner there in that little tri-state area. Oh, cool. So yeah, I wonder kinda, how far Chippewa Falls is. I don't know. I have to look into that. That'd be really cool if I could make it over there. Yeah. So like an hour and a half south of the, have you been to the Mall of America? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So like, that's kind of where I'm at just south. It's like an hour and a half south that across the state line. So, um, and it is oh, turned okay. chilly. I'm sorry. I'm wearing a hoodie. I feel underdressed, but it's turned a little chilly up here. The, it's like, it's probably 45. The high tomorrow is going to be 52. The high. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's gonna look yeah. Wow. So it's that's really, cooler. yeah turned into fall like very quickly up here like all right hi welcome yeah. fall yeah like here it is right. <laughs> ready or not 
right. So, no and then back. I was sitting here, I was like, you know, maybe I'm underdressed here with this hoodie, but I'm so comfy, <laughs> you know? Yeah. No, it's you're good. good. You're good. Comfy. It's, I love comfy. Comfy's great. Is <laughs> fall your, uh, what's your favorite season? Um, I would say summer. I love summer. I love going to the pools and like water parks and yeah. um, just being outdoors. But then it's, a fall is kind of fun too. It's just, I don't know, the crisp air is refreshing. And then I like going to like pumpkin and apple farms and that yeah. sort of thing. But I do love summer though. I, yeah, I kind of like them all. I'm not a huge fan of winter. I like winter up until Christmas. And then like December 26, I'm like, okay, I'm ready for spring. Yeah. You know, right. I, I love Christmas. I love winter right up through Christmas. And then I'm like, uh, come January, I'm like, I'm over this. See, this is no good right now. Yes. Um, apples, yeah. speaking of apples yeah, and pumpkins, uh, we have an apple tree in our backyard that we got like a thousand apples from that this year. And it's not that big. I can't believe it really showed out and overproduced them. And they're red, delicious apples. And it's like uh, a heirloom tree. It's like a hundred years old. So it's not GMO. They're delicious. Oh, cool. It was a, I, I don't know oh, what wow. to do with them because I'm not real Becky Homecky. And so, yeah, I don't know what to do with them. And everybody's like, you should make apple butter or you should um, make apple cider or you should can them, can them. Yeah. I'm like, that's not my grandmother like would i'm like what does that mean <laughs> so okay. i, I no yeah idea. no idea <laughs> not like none that. i wouldn't even know where to start i've been peeling All them right. and eating. you know what i've been doing with those apples peeling them and eating them i did go to the store and get some caramel so i could have and i sliced them and dipped them in caramel and that's the extent of my cooking skills now hey you <laughs> mentioned um that you have a video um a, a new video out yeah, well, um, it's called Not Today, and um, actually Kevin Young of Disciple is featured in the song and in the video. Billy Gray of Fozzy is also in the video, so it, that was just, that was really cool to be able to work with both of them, and just an honor, and, um, and then, um, yeah, like I said, JT Ibanez actually shot uh, the video um, in St. Louis, and he did an awesome job, and um so he's the he's the uh, producer that works with Seven Dust and all these really uh, cool bands. He's worked with POD too, um, yeah. so that was really cool. And then we just found out that the song, after just two weeks of being on the charts, just hit number eleven <gasps> um, yesterday. Yay! So I'm no. really excited. Yeah, I am too because I love this number eleven. That's one spot away from the top ten. So girl, you are in there. Yeah. All right, well let's watch it really <laughs> quick here.
So, wow. I'm, I'm literally blown away every time. And I, that's not my first time watching that. And I'm just, wow. I'm blown away. Did you write that? Who wrote that song? Um, yeah, I, uh, I wrote it and, uh, with Josiah Prince of Disciple, we co-wrote it together. Um, and then actually a family member of mine, um, helped a little bit too. So, um, but yeah, so it was really cool. We went to Nashville and just, uh, wrote it together and, uh, recorded it there at his studio in Nashville. So. Well, that, I mean, it's just an amazing song and it's really visually impressive. The video is just, it's just amazing. And you said you shot it in St. Louis. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I yeah. love St. Louis. So where are you from originally? I'm from the Chicago area. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're kind of like a Midwestern girl too. Yeah. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I'm not fond of the winters, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, no, do you still live like in the Chicago area? Is that kind of where you live or have yeah. you relocated to Nashville? Um, no, I I was there for um, in Tennessee for about a year and a half. And yeah. then we moved back about six months ago to Chicago area just to be by family again. Yeah. So, yeah. It seems like it's everybody just relocates to, to Nashville you know, like that's just kind of like the hub, you know, but, yeah. you know, but because, and it used to be, seems like, like, uh, 20 years ago, if you were wanting to make music country or Christian music or what have you, folk music kind of had to be in Nashville, but now because of the internet and the way that things are anyway, and recorded and mixed. And a lot of times you don't yeah. necessarily have to live there anymore. Right. So. Definitely. Yeah, it definitely frees you up to kind of be wherever and live wherever so that right that part's nice yeah so you're coming up on an uh illinois winter i'll i'll be up yeah, here with yeah. you <laughs> yeah i don't want to think about it oh man <laughs> like, i don't know if i can deal with it because last year we were in tennessee and it was really it was good so we'll see how this goes but <laughs> well, last year was actually for kentucky and tennessee specifically mild even for kentucky and tennessee <laughs> wasn't it yeah yeah, it was the one day we did get snow. I think it was like the day after Christmas, maybe, um, or around there in December. And I was the only one out driving. And I'm like, why is no one else on the road? He's like, what is going on? <laughs> Literally no one was out there but me. So ha let's go back to you being a rock star. Is that something you always wanted to be? Like when you were a little girl, did you, did you think I'm going to grow up and I'm going to be a rock star like that's what I want to do I want to be a uh, singer is that kind of yeah it not until I was 15 uh that's when like my life changed and everything and that's when I felt called to to do this and I wanted to um start a band and um and you know create music that uh is is positive too and uh can influence people and has that edge and um so yeah i guess it was more when i was 15 that i wanted to start doing this um and just create music and and you know rock out on stage so <laughs> and 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 maybe like yeah and be like positive and encouraging and and i don't mean to sound like kayla positive and encouraging right kayla, but you know <laughs> it's positive and uplifting message as opposed to you know some sometimes not always, but some rock and roll music, the lyrics are harsh. Right. Know? And so, you know, it kind of gives people a different option, you know, for young people. And, and maybe if you can help, you know, I think teenagers, young people have it. Seems like there's a lot more like mental illness and instability mm -hmm. and depression and suicide than there yeah. was when I was a teenager. Yeah. Yeah. I think so too. It's just, just the world is uh, kind of upside down and crazy. And so in some of the, uh, you know, what they teach in the public schools is not, not great. And so I think right. that's a lot to do with it too, is um, the influences and the struggles and, uh, and all that. And what they have to face is a lot harder than I think when I grew up, it was a lot different. Um, so yeah, I, I don't envy them <laughs> at this stage, but yeah, yeah, but definitely they, they have to deal with a lot, um, 
yeah, yeah. They deal with a lot now. It, it seems like it. I mean, like it, it's it's heartbreaking to me, you know, to teenage suicide is just uh, one of my best friends in Pennsylvania, her 16 year old son hung himself in her house. And are you serious? Yeah. And I was, I mean, to say I'm devastated, that's yeah. what a thing to say. Cause she's, de that family's devastated. But I mean, we all are. I, mean, I was devastated for her. I still, that's been about a year ago. Can't yeah. wrap my brain around that. Like yeah. this is a kid who, um, his parents are still married. Their both of their parents are still married. The dad's parents and the mom's parents. They live in Pennsylvania and have this big, wonderful family where they all have birthdays and Christmases together. And they have this cabin up on the Susquehanna River and they go to this cabin in the summer and all the families have cabins up and down this river together and they kayak and seemingly from the outside, everything was was good, like a, a way better family life than lots of children have. Yeah. And what would, I mean, how do you, like, there's nothing to say. Like, how do you wrap mm -hmm. your brain around, how do you go back in time and tell this 16 year old, there is yeah. nothing so bad yeah, that this is the answer. Like, right. Right. It, it's you're 16 dude you know and yeah. i don't know how it feels right now but that's yeah. not the solution like right. i don't and so yeah, you that's know awful. that's awful i know and suicide's kind of really one of my my issues it just it's so close to my heart because i just want to say to people yeah. always even no matter how hard it is to wake up tomorrow please wake yeah. up yeah just, definitely please. just keep keep going and yeah 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 just choose it's another hard. day yeah, yeah definitely and try to talk to someone though sometimes people aren't willing to help or listen um but if you can try to find someone that will listen and yeah yeah i always tell people i'll listen i don't even have to know right. you you can right. if you're watching this podcast and nobody else will listen you click on yeah. the message and you message me i will for yeah. sure listen i think anytime there's somebody like you um, and, and other Christian bands too, like Disciple and like Skillet and, you know, Firefly and Not Ashamed and Petra and all these bands that, you know, anytime that there are bands that can have a positive impact in somebody's life, um, that's, it's actually more than you can imagine, mm -hmm. um, Jennifer, like that there are children. I was one of them now you weren't around when i was a teenager but i didn't have a great childhood and i shut myself in my bedroom and yeah. turned on amy grant and kathy tricoli okay oh, okay right cool. right yeah. and so i you know and and all of these strong women like margaret becker and susan ashton you know were around when i was a teenager those were kind of and kim hill what a strong woman still and so all of these amazing women who don't know me and don't know that, you know, there was a time in, in my life when mm, I wasn't maybe mentally the healthiest and I wasn't suicidal and I didn't have all the problems because I didn't, we didn't have smartphones and the internet. So I didn't face a lot of the same things that teenagers face now, but right. I didn't have a lot of joy in my childhood and I didn't have a lot of joy in my life. And so okay. that really meant a lot to me. And so what you don't realize is to be that positive role model and influence, you don't, know that there are people tonight in their house yeah. watching your video thinking man i want to be just like her and if she can do it i can do it what mm -hmm. would you say to those those little girls yeah i would say um go for it like don't let anyone hold you back and um do what god has you know created you to do and called you to do and uh you know go do it with all you have um and don't look back so i would definitely say that because I had, I had um, some relationships or a relationship where someone did hold me back for a while and I wanted to pursue this. And um, he said, no, basically, um, and just was an awful uh, human being um, and awful to me. And once I got out of that relationship, I'm like, I'm done. I'm doing what God has called me to do. And um, and that's when I started and I just kept going and I'm not going to quit. So, 
just um, persevere, you know, trust God and um, put him first in your life and he'll guide you. He won't, uh, he won't fail you and he'll provide for you um, different ways that you um, wouldn't imagine. Uh, it right. just, he'll lead you and, and he'll provide. So. And he will, and open doors, right? Yeah. And he'll open doors. Yeah. And, yeah. And, I've reached and, my head with some, I'm like, how did this happen? Yeah. <laughs> right. I was going to say, and you can, yeah, you can say that for sure. Like, Hey, he, he can open doors that you couldn't imagine. You're like, what, how am I yeah. here? How cool is yeah. that? Huh? Yeah. It's cause I like, even just recently, I, um, they, like I was reached out to, to, uh, open for Petra and sing at the 50th anniversary for Petra and, you know, and they're legends in Christian rock. So it's just like, yeah. Like I'm, I was just blown away that I was asked and I'm just so excited. So, um, and then just, yeah, I do like, I'm a fan of Kevin Young of Disciple and just doing a song with him. So yeah, God will open these doors. God will open doors if, yeah, if they trust him. Yeah. That's a good message. Just do, do what you don't look back. Just keep going, be strong and keep going. That's not just for little girls. That that could be for boys too, that are watching. I just, I guess, because I was a little girl, you know, in my room, but I just did a podcast with Revival who is going to open for Petra in Canada. No way. Yeah. They were so cool. They were awesome. They're, they're awesome too. You'll have to check out some of their stuff. Yeah, I will. I will. So, That's so yeah, cool. definitely. And they're real hardcore rockers too, and just super cool and have a great message to, oh. uh, with their life, such a great witness. And so, um, awesome. I love having all you guys on this podcast and getting to know all of you guys and kind of getting to be just a little tiny from the back end, uh, see all of the 50th anniversary kind of people with Petra. I love yeah. that. It's just so cool to, um, to kind of get to meet all of you guys and, and see all of you guys and to just watch that 50th anniversary tour that's happening. I mean, that's wow. 50 years, you know, that's unbelievable to me that they have been around that long and are still just kind of slaying all stuff. (laughs) I know they're incredible when I saw them. Yeah. Cause um, we were in Kentucky, Paducah and Louisville and yeah, I just watching them. They're incredible still. I mean, they're so just, you just opened for them because that just happened, didn't it? Yeah, that just happened. Um, yeah. So that was an awesome experience. And it was a sold out show too. It was so cool. Um, and then I just, yeah, after that, I just got to watch them and enjoy their music. And it was so fun. And then I'll be in uh, Nashville with um, them, Not Ashamed, and Phil Keggy, November 4th um, right. for the Petra show too. So I'm looking forward to that one too. Like Phil Keggy. I mean, like yeah. I'm mind blown that these I men know. are still just around and rocking it out. I'm like, whatever they're taking, they're not aging because they're still just like, what <laughs> are you doing? Because you need I to know. let the rest of us know, right? Right. <laughs> um, well, I let's watch another video and I have another one pulled up here. Let me remind myself, resist, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Tell me, tell us about uh, a little bit about that that video and the making of that and that song um yeah that one was co-written with uh jeremy valentine of the band new year's day um and uh, brandon wolf his brother worked on it too and um so that was just really cool to be able to write and record with them they're really really great guys um they're actually they're both christians and they love god and um and just it was it's just really cool that um we've gotten to work with them and so yeah um and it's just talking about resisting the enemy and i won't follow it says i won't fall away from you the one who brings me life so talking about um const, you know to keep following god and um not let satan uh drag you away and just keep following him so okay all right <laughs> Go, go, you don't have my all the pain, all the lies you tied me 
actually think that is my favorite um, of all your songs. I love them all. I've just had like Ignescent on repeat on my Spotify just for the last yeah. week. Um, but I yeah. really, really love that one. It's a, got a little more energy. It hits a little harder. And I kind of like that. Like, um, cause I'm like a thousand foot crutch girl too. Sometimes. Oh, cool. cool. Well then yeah. you will like some of the songs on the album that's coming out. So <laughs> I was getting ready to ask you. So uh -huh. you have some singles released, but you don't have an album. So tell me about that. Yeah, we have another single releasing, I think it's like October 17th with a music video. And then the album releases November 10th. Um, okay. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So so the first song was um, like produced and co-written with Josiah of Disciple. Uh, the rest are um, either co-written or produced by Jeremy Valentine and Brandon Wolf of New Year's Day. So okay. um, definitely heavier. There's a few ballads, but most of them are pretty, pretty heavy. So hit pretty hard. I like that because yeah. I'm kind of an old rocker too. Cool. So I love that. So is it's your first album, right? Yeah, yeah. That we've is... had EPs and singles. So um, yeah. yeah, we got signed to it's Frontiers, your... and um, and so it's our first, um, our first album. <laughs> I mean, isn't that? Don't you think that's incredible? Don't you feel like? you're on this incredible journey. Yeah. Yeah. Like I was not, um, yeah, I was not expecting all that. And, uh, the funny thing is though, I, we had booked a ton of shows this past summer, not knowing that we were going to be signed. And so, um, the album was due like to the label July 1st. And so I had a, like write, record and get everything done amongst doing all these shows. Cause I didn't want to cancel the shows and these festivals either. So it was just like right. a crazy summer. It was fun, but it was so crazy. It was like, it was so busy. I was doing a show. Then I get back and then I record. And then it was like, <laughs> and we literally got it done. I think it was like a quarter to 12 at midnight, like, um, the day before July 1st, it was like, we had 15 minutes to spare and we just got wow. it in time. That was crazy. <laughs> slid right in there <laughs> yeah, yeah. perfect so you yeah. spent summer playing festivals what what was tell me what like what are your favorite some of your favorite experiences like festival experiences yeah uh so lakes jam was awesome that was in minnesota we opened for puddle of mud and skillet and um shaman's harvest and um got to just you know talk to john cooper and um and all them so that it was really cool that was one of my favorite ones um and then we got to headline the edge stage at life fest um okay. so that that was a really cool experience too like those are two of the favorite my favorite shows for the summer and fest yeah. so how did you get your band together like how did that happen you just decided i'm gonna be a singer i'm gonna sing i want to sing for jesus i want to be yeah. this and what I mean do you just like get on Facebook marketplace. I mean, what? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Tell me how does that work? <laughs> well, scary enough and crazy enough, I started on Craigslist because <laughs> I didn't know where else to go. Okay, so and, I'm not too far off. Yeah, like, you're not too far out. And then <laughs> Band Mix too. That's another site that actually is, Band Mix is pretty good. Oh, okay. um, I never heard of that. Yeah, yeah. So those two, and then I just you know said I'm holding auditions, and so I did, and I uh, just kind of went from there. So. And you just kind of did this by yourself. I mean, that's yeah. really brave and incredible and makes you just Thanks. such a strong, positive role model for, for people. I love that. And so do you guys, since you kind of are mixed, a mixed band with just people that auditioned and came in, do you guys all get along really well though? Oh yeah. Yeah. We get along well. Yeah. Okay. So that's yeah. gotta be, God, God's gotta be in that then because yeah. a lot of times it's hard for bands to get along. So yeah. Yeah. You yeah. never know what's going to happen, but yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, I love that. I love that, that you just decided, you know what, this is what I'm going to do. Yeah. And I like people of action. Um, okay. Because I think, you know, when God said, I will never leave you or forsake you, I will go with you to the ends of the earth. What I always told all the kids in my life is when God said he would go with you, that implies movement on your part. 
Mm. <laughs> he cannot go uh, yeah. with you if you're yeah. not moving. So mm. a lot of times I think people stand still. Now I'm not, you yeah. know, sometimes there is a time for standing still and praying and seeking the face of God and finding out what's right for me, but you can't yeah. just constantly stand still out of fear. Right. Um, you know, right. it's Jesus gives a parable of the talents and the one that buried his, you can't just stand still constantly. You have to move. If God yeah. is going with you, that implies that you're going somewhere so that he yeah. can go with you to those places. And so I think yeah. that's just an incredible um, thing that you did. And I just, I love mm -hmm. it. And I wish you all the best. And we're going to believe that next week, that song's going to be in the top 10. That's Thank you. I hope that. so. I hope yeah. so. I hope we wake up Tuesday or Wednesday, whenever it is, and see that. That would be awesome. <laughs> that would be awesome. I'm going to send yeah. you a message going, woo. <laughs> Yay! Because yes, I want it to be so bad too. So because you are just you are an incredible uh, human being and just an incredible woman and so talented. And so thank you so much for taking an hour of your night and coming on here and yeah, um, and being an encouragement to to me, but also to everybody that's watching. That's completely awesome. On what you know to just to be a testimony on look what God can do if you're if you're willing and if you're faithful, right? Yeah, definitely. If, right. Yeah, so, if you're willing to surrender and yep, definitely. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay, Jennifer. Well, thank you so, so much. And uh, we'll keep up with you in the future okay. and kind of see where it goes. And uh, I'll check out, tell me one more time, the name of that town in Wisconsin. It's Chippewa Falls. Chippewa Falls. Hey, October if it's not, too, if it's not yeah. too far from me, I might run over there. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. That sounds good. All right. Awesome. All right. Thanks, honey. Have a great night. All right. Thanks. Thanks okay. for having me. Uh -huh. Bye. Bye.